Today we will be working with the Celestron CPC 8 inch with DPS positioning. First of all, you need to ask, like the rest of them, for an AC power service to check if it has enough power. You press the on button right there and you flash the flashlight. If it turns on, that's a good thing. And you're ready. What you're going to do after that is make sure that the telescope is facing north and level. So using little knobs on the side, twisting counterclockwise, you can get it parallel. There's little arrows that you line up and that will tell you. You twist the knob back so clockwise so that it is steady. And then there's a similar knob that you twist also counterclockwise to get it facing north. And then you retighten that back, so that's good. Now you're going to connect the AC power into a hole that says plus 12V in, and you're going to turn the telescope on. And you're also going to turn the power on, which helps when you're trying work it. So the computer is going to say that the CPC is ready for alignment and you press enter. You're going to select your align method with the six and nine buttons. So you're going to go down to auto two star and you're going to press enter. It's going to ask you if the time is right so you can check your cell phone or you can check your watch and it says 7.15, it says 19.50 on here. So that means the time is right. Mm -hmm. Then you press enter if the time is right. You're gonna select your first star to align. And this one you're gonna have to manually do. Since we're in a room and there's obviously no stars, I'm just going to estimate where the star would be. So you're gonna use the up and down buttons again with six and nine. I'm going to choose Aldebaran and you press enter. So you're going to use the arrows to slew to it. Let's say it's up this way. Now to check that you've done this right and that you actually are on Aldebaran, you're going to take off this cap and this cap of the viewfinder and the cap on the telescope. Okay. Twist clockwise and pull. And then you're going to look through the viewfinder scope and see if it's near. If it is, then you're going to take your eyepiece Make sure it's centered in the eyepiece, so you're going to look through that, and our supposed star is centered. So then you're going to look through the actual eyepiece of the telescope, and we'll suppose that it needs to be adjusted a little bit, so you adjust it, however, wherever you need to go to get it. Once it's centered, you're going to click Align. And then it's going to ask you to select a second star. It recommends Sirius, which is a good star to select. So you're going to press Enter. It's going to salute the second one for you. I'm just going to wait till it does that, which will take a little while. There's a little um, turning line in the right hand, upper right hand corner of the computer, and you want to make sure that that is gone before you actually start fixing the slew because it makes little adjustments while you're waiting. Now it says center series. So once again, you're gonna look through the viewfinder, make sure it's in the center of the viewfinder, which we'll suppose it is. And you're gonna look through your telescope you're going to center it through there, and then you're going to press enter when you're done. Then you're going to press align, 
and it's ready to go. So you can press, as always, list to get a list of name stars and objects and such things, or you could press tour, and that'll give you, that'll just suggest objects to you, and you can click enter to salute them.